how opals form. Opals, or at least precious opals, are known for their really unique play of colour, which can include a spectrum of hues that dance across the surface of the mineraloid. Now, if you've ever wondered how they form, good, because I'm going to explain that in five easy steps. Ready? Birth. Building blocks. Time and pressure. Colour magic. And unveiling the treasure. The genesis of an opal is going to begin extremely deep underground, where silica-rich water will seep into cracks and cavities within rocks, often formed by ancient volcanic activity. It's this water containing dissolved silica that slowly percolates through the ground, sometimes aided by hot springs or other geothermal activity. As this same silica-rich water moves through the Earth's crust, it encounters various minerals and organic matter. These substances will influence the colour and structure of the opal over time. These silica-rich particles accumulate and then begin to solidify, forming tiny spheres or layers. It's these spheres which are crucial for the opal's play of colour. Then, as more silica-rich water flows into the same cavities, the silica spheres continue to grow, gradually forming a gel-like substance known as hydrated silica gel. This gel contains a high percentage of water trapped inside its structure. Then over millions of years, this gel will harden and transform into the opal that we know, thanks to the pressure from the overlying rocks. The play of colour inside each individual opal occurs due to the unique arrangement of silica spheres within that gemstone. When light enters the opal, it's going to diffract or bend around these spheres, creating a display of colour known as play of colour. The size and arrangement of the spheres generally determine the colours and patterns seen in the opal, making each stone a very unique stone. Finally, through natural processes like erosion or even human intervention through mining, opals are eventually brought to the surface. Miners are going to carefully extract the opals from the earth and then they'll be made available for collectors like you and me.